So this video should be pretty cool because you're gonna be able to open the description and follow right along with me. I'm gonna break down how I come up with my description for my YouTube videos and then how I get those timestamps to look great right in there. And one secret trick that I'm gonna show you at the end to really get this boosted to get more people to learn from you. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. Been doing this marketing stuff for the last 10 years. Work with over 2,500 brands. You can always learn more about me here. But in today's video, I'm gonna share my screen, show you how to use AI to make the transcriptions go into your description of your video and help you with the timestamps to save you time and get this thing going. So you ready? Let's dive in. So first, I'm gonna go to my YouTube video. Now what we use is we use software like Adobe or CapCut to download these transcriptions from the video. What you don't want to do is you don't want to have AI make your whole description. You want to use the words you said in the video to help you make the transcription description. So if you look here, these are all the exact words I said in this video that I published on Wednesday. Even the timestamps are dialed in perfectly. Why? Because I'm using this transcript from the video. Additionally, I'm going to give you this prompt that you can copy and paste into your chat GPT or favorite AI to use this every single week. And if you want the full AI prompt, comment system down below. Somebody from my team will send you this full prompt along with all my other AI prompts that you can plug and play into your business. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this whole thing. We're gonna ask for the title. We're gonna ask for the description. And most importantly, we're gonna tell them what we want this to look like. I wanna give it the exact information and say, hey, this is what I want my description to look like. This is how I want you to format my timestamps. And then I want you to actually provide education when it comes to my YouTube description. So I'm gonna put that in there. Next, I'm gonna go back to my video and you'll probably just download this from your software or your editor can send you this, or you can just come and grab it from YouTube about an hour after you upload your YouTube video. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and I'm gonna say, here is my transcription. Ready? And let's go. So now what it's gonna do is bring out all this information that I asked it to do. In this prompt, we asked it to help us come up with a title that people are actually searching for. Then I'm gonna say, use only the words I use in my audio to help me with my description. Then I'm gonna show it how to format it so I not only shows up for people searching, but it's also gonna help somebody learn as they're going through the video. So go down below this video right here, open up my description, and it should look something like this. Introduce myself, have an affiliate link, provide education, break it down nicely, give you the timestamps, give you my affiliate links, and then it's actually gonna break those timestamps into chapters down below. So let's take a look, how's it looking? So first it gave me 10 different SEO titles I can choose from, then it gave me the top three, explain why. That way I know what would actually target my ideal audience. And then it's going to take my introduction, give me this. It's going to give me those, what you're going to learn, why the strategy works. It's going to give you those exact timestamps. And then it's going to give you that step-by-step -step breakdown, just like that. So now you're going to see it. It looks just like this, the introduction, the description, the education, the timestamps, the step-by-steps. And then I'll just copy and paste my affiliate links down there below. What you're gonna do is import that video, put that title in here, and then you're gonna add that description. Now, the one thing you're gonna to have to do is go format this. They don't have bullet points, so you're gonna to have to manually do one, two, three, four. You're gonna then go to timestamps, make sure that only says timestamps there. And then what you're gonna do is make sure it looks just like that. Provide the step one, step two, tell them to leave a comment, that would be great. And then you can add your affiliate recommendations. Quick tip. In my affiliate recommendations, my freelancer here who makes my thumbnails, he will actually give you three different variations of that. And then you can plug that into your thumbnails for AI and YouTube to determine which one will get the most clicks. And then it'll start showing that thumbnail over your other thumbnails. And that's how you'll truly get better conversions and better watches on your videos. Now, just like I promised, if you stuck with me to the end, my secret sauce, and I actually learned this from a friend, I posted about this in some other videos, but if you scroll all the way down here, what you wanna do is change your category. I like to make all my YouTube's educational base, providing value. So what I do is instead of it being just generic, I change it to education, and then I do a how-to. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my AI prompt, scroll down a little bit more, and I'm gonna put this in. And what that's gonna do is give me those exact timestamps that I can throw in 
into my details. So you can only have 800 characters here. So you wanna make sure you only have about five to eight that you can put in. And you can see it gave me those right here. Copy and paste those into here. Make sure it says how to. So what are you waiting for? Use AI, but don't use AI to make your YouTube descriptions, your timestamps, and really optimize your YouTube videos so you can get better results. Play around with those titles. And if you think of this video, the title is actually coming from these words I'm saying. If you read my description below, that's coming from the words I talked about today in this exact video. Timestamps are gonna break it down just like I broke it down by each section in here. And then you'll see three variations of my thumbnail. And if you scroll down, you'll see the how to's broken down so you can easily learn. That'll start indexing it on Google, index it on ChatGPT, and of course, index it on YouTube. So this video brought you any value, make sure to comment system down below to get that prompt. Subscribe to my channel. It would be awesome if you did. If you wanna learn more about these YouTube tips, YouTube ads, check out this playlist here. I've got a whole series that you can check out. And again, I hope to see you on my next video. Have a great day.